Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Pay Table. It's my weekly show where you see what I'm working on, what I got done, and what is coming up. So this week, I continued on my path to painting all kinds of old orcs for Gork and Morka. I dug up some battlefield accessories, I grounded some new projects, and I found something that I think all of you are remiss for having not pointed out exists, uh, and I can't believe I discovered this late in the game. So let's see what I got done and what is coming up. So here is my finished pile for the week. Once again, it is orcs, <laughs> just orcs, that's it. I converted a Slava out of an old plastic uh, Black Reach orc. I used actually one of the poles from the orc truck, uh, a back banner off one of the knobs. That's a flail, I believe, from a, um, a Gorkamorka, or not Gorkamorka, a uh, Marauder Horseman. And then an old shotgun from the Gorkamorka frame. Swapped in some heads, and I think this guy makes a perfectly good slaver. He's got his grabbing stick. Uh, you don't want to get grabbed by it, for sure. Uh, and a cannon, because, you know, you need a shotgun. Um, they were all done the same way. So the same uh, dark charcoal gray base coat, um, and then airbrushing with a bit of Mornfang Brown um, and a little bit of um, Screaming Skull mixed into it. You can kind of see the base tones here on uh, the Battlefield Accessories I started painting. Then I used um, the new, uh, like, orky um, contrast paint. It's not Oric Green, it's the the one for the Cruel Boys, Cruel Boys Green. Uh, blended up with a bit of that same Screaming Skull in it afterwards, just to like finish off the details. I used Caraberg Crimson, I think it is? No, Sigvald Burgundy. Uh, for the top knot and then hound it up through um, a brighter uh, red, a wild red or red, and a little bit of beige as well. And you can see here I was just able to do like edging and a little bit of more Fang Brown highlights uh, up on top for the um, the leather strapping and the boots and stuff. And then just highlights to, to finish off the teeth, to finish off the uh, nails and of course the wood grain on the stock. Uh, and the base tone is, or the base is a ghrelin earth washed with snake bite contrast paint after it fully dries and that gives you that nice kind of like broken borderlandsy sort of ground <clears throat> same process for everything else the bike uh i needed i can have three bikes with one spanner so i needed a bike to to ride on so i built a riding platform out of the one of the siding pieces because i didn't put them on the truck uh, because obviously that means that uh, i can hang more boys off it and then um the the the, the slave can hang out here with uh one of his ammo grots. I had a couple of ammo grots that I found in a bits box. I think they might have been from Owen's, um, one of Owen's like Titans, <laughs> or like, or even just like one of his boxes of orcs. And I painted them up. Uh, so I've got a grot with a stick bomb, which means you can use it as a club too. And if you explode, I don't really care. Uh, I got a grot with a slugger, uh, but I'm probably gonna use it as a six shooter. And then I built a, another boy. This is Pickle. He was formerly my gunner. Now he's he's got a sweet shooter because he got upgraded. He got so many kills with the big shoot, uh, heavy shoot on the truck. I decided to have him give it up and then go be like my shooter boy on foot because he got an increase for a wound and an attack. So like, yeah, he's uh, he's tough as hell. So he got a chopper um, to go with his nux and his um, shooter. And then my bike, of course, rounds it out. Uh, and this gives me lots of stuff to spend my teeth on when I start upgrading. I also found two muti tents from the Diganob upgrade. I'm going to base. So I have like extra little like terrain features when I finally convert up some mooties um, or even some diggas to be out there in the desert, uh, not baking away in the sun. So tons of fun painting these orcs. This finishes my, my uh, Morker Warband. I've got more than enough to play some games. I could do another bike at some point if I wanted to, just to like round it out with two spanners, three bikes and a, and a truck. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm happy where it's at right now. I got lots of models to hire and you never know what happens on Gorka Morka. You probably watched my GMG review this yesterday, but this is um, the contents, well, the newer contents. Uh, anything that wasn't already available from Wrath of the Soul Forge King, my Azrael, who I'm pretty excited to build. I love, I will definitely build him with a Lion Helm on, not being held by the Watcher, because I love that miniature when I, uh, or that, that helmet, when I finally do paint him. Uh, and the accessory frame, obviously, for the Dark Angels is not new, but it's nice they threw two of them in there instead of just one. And then Vastro the Archifane with his super cool, like, Doom style head. <laughs> he he looks more like a Doom bad guy than any miniature Games Workshop's ever made. Where's this guy's head at? I love his face. Mmm, there it is right there. Look at how cool that face is. He's got the, the rebreather mask. Like, he literally looks like uh, he should be surrounded by, like, big red beholders that are shooting purple plasma at you. 
And then last but not least, I got some stuff now that we've seen the first video um, from Corvus Belly to show off the um, the new Observant pack for Bakunin. I know that the moderators aren't being redone, the Morlocks aren't being redone, um, and that means I'm going to paint up my Bakunin Jurisdictional Command starter set and moderators uh, in advance of um, ordering that pack because I really want to paint up um, another like arm of my, my Nomads for my ITS 15 army or 14 army. Uh, maybe it's like my Blend Over army for 15. Um, and that means that uh, I'll have a jump on having some units besides just my remotes and stuff already painted for when they show up. I managed to find a bootleg Pensathalea so I can run a second authorized bounty hunter and also have Penny in my Aleph army. And I just grabbed a back of Icadron Batroids and an Imitron. I can't use the Imitron in my Morats, but I want to have another one because I have one painted for my Onyx already, um, which gives me my, like my cap of two. And then I need an Icadron because I need a baggage bot. To base up these Bakunin, I decided, I, I picked three types of Tufts. Uh, same store that had these, uh, Tista Minis in, in Hamilton. Had some cool green stuff rolled, Martian Tufts. And I want to pick one, uh, probably this one, but I liked the icy one too. Uh, it needs to contrast off the red armor, so yeah, maybe the cool color instead of the warm color. I can't decide yet. You guys vote in the comments, either Neon Yeti, Neo Titan Orange, or Pumpkin Punk Pink Neon. Uh, and I got some new brushes to try it too because they were cheap, the AK Interactor brushes. I haven't tried them out yet, so I don't know anything about them, but they were inexpensive. Uh, they looked like they had a good well on them, which means they'll hold a lot of paint. And I always like trying out new things, so I'll give you a report on these after I'm done. Last but not least, who was asleep at the wheel that I didn't know this existed until I walked into a game store this past week? Who? Who didn't tell me? I blame all of you for me not knowing about this until I literally walked into a shop and bought it. It's the Thing board game, one to four players, I believe. Fully miniature supported, uh, with Bennings, Blair, Clark, Gary, McCready, Nalls, Norris, and Windows. My one regret is that I don't have a Wilford Brimley miniature in here. Um, I mean, I have everybody else. I have the greats. I have got Kurt Russell. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be something else. You also notice there's no childs because maybe he's also oh one of these. We got that Norris headcrawler. We've got the dog, and then we've got the Blair monster at the end. Uh, there's the other half of Norris over there. Sorry, it's Norris and yeah, because he dies. It's Norris and then it's Bennings. Um, as the uh, the head the head guy and uh, I think that's Norris over there and that's the that's the Blair monster like combined with one of the dogs at the end so these are the same kind of plastic as the Walking Dead All at War miniatures so they're basically board game component plastic they're not bad though um, I was excited when I opened them up because these are basically replacements for the cardboard in the box game and the box game is like a who done it survival horror board game um, so. While I don't, oh my god, doing this with my left hand is impossible. I just want to show you the miniatures. Um, they're not badly cast. Like, there's Gary. That's piping on his leg, not Flash, actually, because he's in his, like, his military fatigues. Uh, yeah, there's, oh, there's the, uh, the cook. Uh, oh shoot, not Childs. It's the other guy. It's not Windows, not Childs. It's, um, uh, Nalls. That's right, Nalls. Um, I have the novelization of this book that goes into a big deal about why he's wearing roller skates all the time. Uh, there's McCready, and again, like, these are all built together. There's, there, yeah, there's, um, the dog handler. Palmer, I think his name is? Uh, and there's, yeah, there's McCready and his goggles and his, like, flamethrower and stuff. So I am pumped for this. Uh, I'm gonna give it a go and, like, dry fire it with Sam so we can learn how to play it. And then I'm gonna paint up all these minis and we're gonna play the thing board game. And and the fact that I'm this late to the party is an embarrassment to me. I can't believe I didn't know this existed. This is my all-time favorite horror movie, and I'm so pumped I have a miniature collection for it. Cause even like and the, the the game comes with dog miniatures too. That was my first time. I was like, where's there where why isn't there a dog miniature? No, the one thing they give you is the dog. Because you have to have the dog. Uh, so yeah, I'm pumped for this. And the 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 best part about this is when I'm done, I have a complete collection of thing miniatures for playing like just a post 31 style games. So there we go, not as big a week of painting this week. I only painted, I mean, if you count the bike as more than one miniature, then I painted a few more, but I painted five miniatures this week and some terrain. Um, but I got into more Dark Remorka games, which is super fun. I played some Infinity with Chase, dusting off two of my old armies, take a break from my um, back and forth. Uh, I played some games against uh, Chase, 
Jordan I played against as well. So it was like, it was a good week of like getting stuff like done and then splitting out some new projects. And I'm so pumped for this thing project. It's ridiculous. It's, I'm so excited. There's a thing board game that had miniatures. There's been a couple other ones. There's Who Goes There in Outpost 31, but this is like a license from Universal Thing Game, which means that I now have, I have everything except for a Dr. Copper and a child's miniature. And I'm okay with that. So anyway, big thanks for watching. We'll see you for more um, of On the Paint Table next week to see what I get done. Till then I'm Ash, Apple Gaming. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Gamma Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.